Now, has dialogue ever been more perfectly hard-boiled? Has a femme fatale ever been as deliciously wicked as that of Barbara Stanwyck? And has 1940s Los Angeles ever looked so seductively sordid? Working with co-writer Raymond Chandler, director Billy Wilder launched himself onto Hollywood A-list with this epitome of film noir fatalism from James M. Cain's pulp novel. When the slick salesman Walter Neff, played by Fred McMurray, walks into the swank home of dissatisfied housewife Phyllis Dietrichson, played by Barbara Stanwyck, he intends to sell insurance to her, but he winds up becoming entangled with her in a far more sinister way. Featuring scene-stealing supporting work from Edward G. Robinson and the excellent cinematography by John F. Zeitz, Double Indemnity is one of the most entertainingly perverse stories ever set to film, and the standard by which all noir must be judged. It's been on the cards to be released by Criterion, albeit in HD format on Blu-ray for some years now, but the fact that they've now restored it in 4K HD, and of course with Dolby Vision HDR grading on top, is stupendous. Many Criterion fans will be literally salivating at the thought of getting this little beauty into their player. I personally can't wait, and I purposely avoided getting any other available Blu-ray releases of this film in the hope that this one would get the Criterion Collection treatment, and indeed it did. And it couldn't be a better time, what with Kino Lorber's foray into 4K, and they're leading the field with releasing The Restored Apartment on 4K by Billy Wilder, also on UHD. The time is ripe to mow the rich filmography of Wilder for its great treasures. With a screenplay by Billy Wilder and the great Raymond Chandler, who gave us the big sleep, we see the quintessential film noir offering. The screenplay was based on James M. Cain's 1943 novel of the same name, which appeared as an eight-part serialisation in the Liberty magazine in February 1936. Now, James M. Cain based his novella on a 1927 murder, which was perpetrated by a married Queen's New York woman and her lover, whose trial he attended while working as a journalist in New York. Now, in that crime, Ruth Schneider persuaded her boyfriend, Judd Gray, to kill her husband, Albert, after having him take out a big insurance policy with a double indemnity clause. Now, the murderers were quickly identified, arrested and, of course, convicted. And of course, the front page photo of Snyder's execution in the electric chair at Sing Sing, captured by reporter Tom Hard, using a hidden camera attached to his right ankle, has been called the most famous news photo of the 1920s. Double Indemnity began making the rounds in Hollywood shortly after it was published in Liberty magazine. Cain had made a name for himself the year before, with The Postman Always Rings Twice, another story of murder and passion between a migrant worker and the unhappy wife of a cafe owner. Cain's agent sent copies of the novella to all the major studios and within days, MGM, Warner Brothers, Paramount, 20th Century Fox and Columbia were all competing to buy the rights for $25,000. And then a letter went out from Joseph Breen at the Hayes office and the studios withdrew their bids immediately. Now, Criterion bring the superb film to 4K HD Blu-ray with HDR Dolby Vision. The supplements are contained on the second disc in the set, and they are an audio commentary featuring film critic Richard Schlichel, a new interview with film scholar Noah Eisenberg, editor of Billy Wilder on Assignment, new conversation between film historians Eddie Muller and Imogen Sarah Smith, Billy, How Did You Do It, a 1992 film by Volker Schlondorf and Gisela Grishau, featuring interviews with the director Billy Wilder. Shadows of Suspense, a 2006 documentary on the making of Double Indemnity. Reno adaptations from 1945 and 1950. A trailer for the film and a written essay by critic Angelica Jade Bastien. And the new cover art is by Greg Ruth. Raymond Chandler actually was given a cameo as a man reading a magazine outside Key's office in the film. Now the film is from 1944 and it has a running time of 108 minutes. 